everyone, now you're going to be using your knowledge of tints and shades to paint in your landscape with mood. And first thing you want to do is take a brush and water. And then look at all the visuals. Um, I sent out some poetry. If you found a poem that you really liked with some kind of mood in it, you can base it on that. Or if you saw a certain landscape, maybe lately it's outside, you might want to base it on that. And the first thing we're going to start with is just painting in the land the darkest color because that's going to be kind of where our sky rests upon. If we don't have the land, our sky won't look like a sky. So I'm painting in my land. And we're not adding white or black to this to make tension shades for the land, because then it would blend too much with the sky. I'm painting evenly, going across. Remember not to scrub your brush. Okay, so I have my land. We're going to be adding nature at a later time, just not today. That's going to go over the sky. And now you're thinking of the color combination you want with your tints and shades. Maybe you want to use shades and tints of red, blue, green. If you want to do purple, you would have to mix. If you want orange, um, it's right here. It's really up to you. There's yellow. You can do tints and shades with yellow as well. And remember you're adding different ratios or different amounts of white or red to make a tint and different ratios or amounts of black to like red if you want a shade of it. And if you want a darker kind of mood, do you add more dark to the red or more light? More shades or more tints? Yeah, you would add more shades. I'm going to go for a lighter mood and I'm actually going to use the red um, and the first thing I want you to do is to paint one of your sections, whatever color you are starting with. Okay? Don't, I wouldn't paint them all because sometimes you can't see what you did. In this way it'll work out. And I'm going to make the part down there this part, a really, really light shade. So I'm adding probably 75% over half white. So I'm adding a lot of white. You might want to rinse off your brush in between before you go back to the white. So you don't make it all red. We are sharing, so please don't mix the tints and the shades in that paint, okay? If that happens, um, we can clean it up, but it's just we really shouldn't because we're thinking of others at our table who are using the same paint. And there I have some white. I got my um, tint started. Now I'm going to go up a little. And I'm going to do the same thing, but probably add a little less white just to make it have some variety. So it's not all the same tint or else it's going to look like I didn't divide my sky into sections. Oops. When you get in between, just make sure you do it really neatly. And then let's, um, actually, I'm even going to make this a lighter shade. So I'm adding, like, almost 90% white on top, which is going to take a lot of white. Okay. 
It's a little similar. What you can do if you find that you do two that are kind of similar, in one of them you can go back and add a little more of the normal color. Like I'm going to add a little bit of red down there just to make it a little less pink. Okay. Now I know I said that I'm doing, I want a, like a lighter mood, a calmer mood with my landscape, but it doesn't mean that I can't add a shade in there any. Because, you know, skies usually have clouds, and rarely does the sky have all, unless there's a cloud with say, really, rarely is the sky like all either light or all dark. There's usually a bit of both. So I'm going to come in and add a little bit of shade right in the middle. There we go. Just kind of gives it a little bit of contrast so it's not all similar. Then I'm going to go back into my tints. I'm going to do my section. Now, in the past, students have done different colors in there with tension shades. You can do that. I'm just sticking there to one so you can really see the difference between the tints and the shades. Now I'm going to make this tint a little, a little darker. There we go. Up at the top. Let's just get a little bit. Now I'm going to add a lot of weight to this one. Kind of bring it back to lighter pink that I have down there. 